Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I'm Mohamed Yunus, the student nurse. And today we are going to talk about the contraction and motility of the small intestine. And without wasting much time, let's jump straight in. We find that the primary purpose of the movement of the small intestine are to provide mixing and transport of the intraluminal content. Small intestine motility is inherent ability of the smooth muscle constituting the walls of the small intestine to contract spontaneously and rhythmically. So we find that the pressure gradient within the small intestine are the pre, uh, responsible for the transport of the intraluminal content. And there are, all, there are two types of motor activity within the small intestine. The first one being the segmenting contractions and the second one being the peristal the peristaltic contraction. So we are going to take them one by one and see what's their function. And, and see what's their function. So we are going to start with the segmenting contractions and we find that the segmenting contractions mix, separate and turn the intestinal time. We also find that the peristaltic contraction may be defined as the advancing ring or wave of contraction that passes along the segment of the gastrointestinal tract and it results in the transport of the intraluminal content downwards usually one segment at a time downward that means from the small intestine as it goes down towards the large intestine and we also find that the total absor absorptive surface area of the small intestine is approximately 4,500 square meters. That's very large, and that's and that helps with the rapid absorption of food within our gut. And we find that the tiny projection called the villi are covered by the single layer of tall columnar cells called the goblet cells, which are a source of the mucin. The teeth constitute of the mucus, there, and we find that this mucus help reduce friction within the stomach within the intraluminal tract and it helps with the smooth flow of the time. So we find that the inner structure of the individual villas consists of loose connective tissues containing a rich network of blood vessels. So those are the, within the villas we find that we are going to have the blood vessel, we have the lymph. We also have smooth muscle fibers, we have the scattered cells, and the smooth muscle cells around the central lacteal and provide for the pumping action required to initiate the flow of lymph out of the villus. I'm going to show you this through a diagram so that you can be able to relate what I'm saying easily. So we also find that the, a small central arterial the minute arteries branch at the tip of the villus to form a capillary network and the capillary empties into a collecting venule that run into the bottom of the villus. So here is what I was talking about. Here is our villus. Here is the artery. Here is how the oxygenated blood comes in. And you see after it's been used, this how it goes out. So this is the capillary that we are talking about. These are the capillaries we say. So the artery comes, then it, it's divided into small capillaries. Then after the oxygen has been used, with that, after the oxygen that's in the blood has been used, and all the contents that are in the, are in the oxygen saturated blood are done with, we find that the, the oxygenated blood comes out of the veins, as you can see in the diagram right here. We also have here the lacteals that we are talking about. Then we find that here are the lymphatics, the lymph, they are flowing out. You are seeing that in the diagram. Then here is how the villa looks in the small intestine. You see how they, they surround the wall of the small intestine. And we find that the function we are going to talk about the function of these villas that are, the villi that are found in the small intestine and the first function we find that no no we are not still yet not going to talk about the function we find that water and solid pass through the pores in the, the surface epithelium of the mucosa by active transport 
and other nutrients transported through simple or passive diffusion, facilitated diffusion, primary active transport, or secondary active transport. And we find that the microvilli, here is now the function of the microvilli we are going to talk about that are found in the, uh, in the small intestine. We find that the microvilli plays an important role in the digestion and absorption of intestinal contact. They also secrete the enzyme disaccharide, disaccharides and peptidase that hydrolyze disaccharides and polypeptides to monosaccharides and dipeptides to amino acids relatively. So well, that's all we have for uh, today's short video. If you found it to be helpful, make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's meet in my next video.